Well, welcome back and hello. So, this video is to give a summary on the other videos I have done during the past week now. So, I started talking about Bitcoin. However, I would like to address another topic first. I talked about in the end of the last week uh, something called Bum Crypto. And now Bum Crypto or Sense Park, who's the development studio behind this released their third token this week. Here we go. This is Bomb Crypto, as you might remember. And this time they released their token on Polygon blockchain. However, let's recap about Bomb Crypto first. The game was released in around October 2021 and is developed by an amateur company in Vietnam who has taken it into their business ID to copy existing games or older existing games and use the game's characters as NFTs so they can make money. <coughs> oh, I'm really drying my throat, I'm sorry about that, but... So, also, they're not competent at all when it comes to tokenomics, and that is one of the reasons why all their tokens have crashed that has been released on the Binance smart chain okay their first token here let's check it out called Bitcoin has during the last 30 days you can see here dropped 63 percent okay in the last 90 days it has dropped 84 percent and let's see here from the start this, if we go from here to there, it's actually 99.4%. So what you should have to think about is people up here that invested instead of those there, they lost even more money. Okay, so this is a token you really would like to invest in, correct? Or maybe I'm wrong on that one, but... There are many people investing in this one. Um, okay, that was this fir first token I wanted to mention. Okay. I didn't do this in the original video, so I thought about doing it now. The second token called Send Token. We have it up here. This is a Send Token. It was released as a way for the B coin, the first token, not to lose too much value or price. <coughs> because the developers own 57% of the total supply of the Bitcoin token. Okay, so this token, Sunspark, or Sen, was released in April 2022, this year. And since it has, um, was released, it has crashed 99.4%. And it also had a higher price at launch than their third token on Polygon had. The third token here, oh, I cannot find the data. This is interesting. We have to check it. Oh, there we go. <coughs> oh, seven days then. Come on. Okay, refresh. Okay, so they had a uh, ITO or something. A pre sale for this uh, bomb token on Polygon Network, and um, they had that price for pre sale at 0.7 US dollars 70 cents, and then they released it at 76 cents. I think it was actually the same price as Sen, yeah, the same price as Sen. So right now, Sen is at 0.7. 004 and then they released this one <laughs> with the same price and I said I tried to warn everybody about this in advance in their like social media at telegram at discord everywhere I said they need to add at least one more zero maybe even two because there is hardly any difference in the these tokens tokenomics it's the same you know so but their tokenomics has an end game that says that players of the game 
will gain less and less profit or they will get a nerf on the way of earning Bcoin, Sen token or bomb token. And the nerf starts when you have earned 50% of your invested token. Okay? So if let's say if you had invested uh, $1000 at the price of 4 this book Bitcoin. This was actually December here was around four, okay, four dollars somewhere, and even up to eight dollars. So almost nine, right? Oof, that's not good. Okay, so if you invested one thousand dollars at the price of four US dollars last year in December 2021, that would have given you 250 Bitcoin. Okay, and today that would be worth five dollars and eighty cents that's a good revenue or loss nine hundred and ninety five or ninety four dollars depending on how, how you're counting loss and the developers nerf your way of profiting or just getting your return of the investment back it is impossible actually that is the way of the, their tokenomics for every week that went on after your in initial investment, the pri token's price has actually dropped. So there's, n it, you see here, drop, 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 drop. Okay, up here a bit, but still, hmm, I should have sold here. But, okay, or everybody should have sold just there and the, how much was it? Come on. Four dollars Thursday. Oh, that's good. Okay. So, where were we? Okay. So, let's say that you, after a few months, you got your return on investment back, according to the scammers, SenseBark. 250 Bitcoin. Okay. So, now you're actually getting 70% of the rewards. Not 100%. So, you're getting less than you did before. However, since you got in 50% of your return on investment, you are nerfed now to 94%. So before you get to 100, when you're starting to get that 50% of your, let's say 125 Bitcoin, then you actually get only 94% uh, of the rewards in the game. And after a while, let's say you are at 200% of your uh, Bitcoin or SEM token return on investment that is between 11 and 12 dollars. Okay, so your 200 percent return on investment in this game is 11 or 12 dollars, even if you invested 1000 dollars. Okay, so and now after 200 percent, you only get 25 percent of your rewards. Okay, so it's less, even less, but when you get 500% return on investments, that is 1,250 Bitcoin or $30. You're in a loss with 970 US dollars. And now you're only getting 1% of the rewards. Great game. So how would you do or how much would you need to get your actual return investment back well <coughs> first you need to get more than 42,000 B coin to get your return on investment for $1,000 and the game doesn't even allow you to earn B coin anymore well you used to do it but not anymore not since they started the send token now it's the send token you can earn and to get your return on investment from the SEN token, you need to have earned 235,000 SEN tokens just to break even. And I guess it's going to continue going down. We're going to see another zero here soon. We're going to see another zero here soon. We're going to see three more zeros here on the boat bomb token on Polygon. <laughs> So, what can I say about this? Well, I d 
please, I, w I, w I want to warn people about this. So, but some people think it's a great game. They just love to lose their money because these Vietnamese scammers. I don't know. Yeah, it's like crazy. Yeah. However, back to the recap of the week. So, back to Bitcoin now. And we all know that my analysis about it was completely correct. I analyzed it that it would go down under 20,000 US dollars this week earlier, and it did. And now the market has even recovered a bit, and that is completely normal, actually. However, I also mentioned that in my analysis that Bitcoin will go down around 80 to 90 percent of their all-time high last year and this bear bottom will be in around November this year 2022 up until February 2023 is my estimation and it will go down to maybe around 10 to 14 thousand US dollars after that I talked about uh, Polka Starter and a project on TGE or a pro token generation event on Polka Starter called Crypto Citizen. That is a game fi. I can say that this is a real game developers, not like the ones in Sense Park in Vietnam. Okay. However, their tokenomics and the allocation of the game's token is terrible. And only done to give the developers a huge money growth or return on their investment. It is not recommended to participate or to buy their token because it will go down or crash. You can have really good game that you want to play but if the tokenomics sucks it doesn't matter because you're just gonna keep on investing 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 but you will never break even. You will just lose, lose, lose because the token's price is going to do like uh, bomb crypto tokens. It will, it will just go down. Yeah, um, you can choose. Let's see where where are here I am. You can choose which of these, but as I said, the token price from the TGE will not go up or give these investors any profit. It won't give you, the investors, any profit, except if you might get it for free. Next, I talked about Terra Luna Classic and Terra Rebels. I have talked about the Terra Rebels identity, the development team's identity, and who I believe they are, and that some of them are competent for, the, competent for this project or taking over the blockchain development and continue the work from Terra Labs. However, many of them are also red flags because we do not know who they are and they should. I later, <coughs> I later did a video about the Terror Rebels cult community and this scares me a bit. It is good when a community supports the blockchain, but they should also question them. It's good with followers, it's good because that makes the price go up. However, here we have a community that is close to or are a cult. I talked about in my one of my videos what a cult is and how you can adapt that or put that into effect on the Terror Rebels cult community. They don't care, care, sorry, they don't care, the community that is, the cult members, to question who the Terror Rebel developer teams are. What is their education? work experience and what in the blockchain decentralized industry have they ever done before? The Terra Rebels cult doesn't seem to believe this is important to know. They rather have dreams about Lambos and moon trips than to be realistic and question. Ask question in a way dox them. They said this themselves like that moderators in the discord group that the team uh, dox themselves but who cares if they dox themselves they should be open for the community for n not only the terror rebel cult community they have to be open for everybody if 
they want more investors. Like, who the F? I'm not going to say that. Maybe I'll get it. But who the F do they think they are if they're not open with who they are? If Terror Rebels will have a website, I hope so, we're going to see every team member who is on the project, their picture, and hopefully a link to their LinkedIn. So they, so everybody can go in, check like, okay, what is the work history? What are you doing now? And everything like that. You have to know who they are and with a real picture, of course. Well, that is all for me. I'm going to bed now. My wife and daughter are already sleeping and it's past midnight. And tomorrow I have to go to the office and work some. Some of us have to still make money at the office, but I love to work. I, I don't like to be on vacation because on every vacation I go to, I just sit and work. But I have some side projects too. So that is what I work with. I have some DeFi projects, I have some car projects, um, and I have even sports projects, you know, about starting different organizations and starting different companies. But I still love to work, you know, I like to go somewhere. I don't like to lie on the beach in Thailand just sipping my pina colada. So if I, I lie on the beach, I get bored. I want to sit in an office or in Thailand, I usually sit at Starbucks to work. So now I'm going to bed. So I'm saying good night, but maybe some of you say good morning or good evening. Well, until next time, let's listen to what you can get by becoming a subscriber. Don't forget that I'm giving away either some BNB crypto or a trip to Thailand if I get that many subscribers. And you can be one of them. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.